Alright, this is the start of World Cup, and that's nothing. It's a black diamond. Yeah, so there's a, a big rock garden to the left of that starting point that's used for races, but it's a little too slick from the previous night's rain, so we decided to skip it. But if you want to check it out, look at my other video on my channel of World Cup. This rock garden's a little tricky. I always get hung up right here, slow down, but get through it. It's pretty fun and fast up here. Have a nice uh, little step down gap right here, small one. Another little ramp right there. We got uh, two more rock gardens coming up. This one's pretty easy to get through. It's pretty smooth. This one's a little tricky. There's different lines, but I tend to do a little S turn to the left there, but probably not the fastest. And you have some nice uh, rollers up here. I just pump through them. Some folks doubled them, but I can't do that, so take it easy. Yeah, and this trail's a, a lot different with all the leaf cover. Definitely makes it challenging because you can't see all the rocks and uh, loose stuff, but it was fun and quite pretty at this time of year. This is uh, late October. World Cup's got lots of rocks and roots and some moss you can see here. Uh, it's a little different from All or Nothing, the other good trail at Mass Nutton. That's kind of tons of rocks, so these two uh, trails offer some variety. It's pretty chunky through there. You can see my handlebars bouncing up and down quite a bit. Leave definitely make it slick out there. It's really hard to stay balanced and Ooh. keep speed. Get a little breather right here. This easy section to get a little break. Then it gets going pretty fast up here. I like this section a lot. Nice little gully. I stay high to the right here. You can dip back in. Go up to the left here. You can ride around this as well to the right, but I stick to the left. A little more fun, challenging. About halfway through the trail now. Another little rock, rock area up here. Staying to the right, usually pretty safe. A little uphill. This part gets pretty fast going through here. Not a lot of rocks, relatively smooth, so easy to kind of just let loose. But still gotta be aware of some of the loose stuff out there. Throw you off, throw you off guard. section right here, really pretty views ahead of you. Hit some sand here, almost washed out. Some of the low areas and some of the turns are messing up and get a lot of sand build up, which can be kind of surprising. I fell under the lift one time, slipping out in some sand, so you gotta watch out for that. Got a nice sharp right turn right here. Gotta be careful not to go over the edge there. Approaching the uh, end of the trail now, the infamous rock gardens that complete World Cup and all or nothing. So coming up now is about 50 yards of just straight rocks. You really just gotta kinda point it down and hang on tight. Trust your bike to do the job. Helps to find some lines there, and you definitely wanna take it slow at first. And that's the end.